What's up guys, I'm Brian Sakawa. you're watching He Spoke Style, and today, very excited to share this with you, a review and try on of Pini Parma. So obviously the biggest question I'm gonna answer in this video is the one in the title. If you've seen my suit supply review, you know that there are many things that I love about the brand, but there are also some things that really kind of turn me off. I've been looking for some high quality, sort of price equivalent alternatives to suit supply for a while, so I was very excited to learn about Pini Parma and to also give them a try. So table of contents for this video. First, I'm gonna talk a little bit about the brand. Next, I'll show you each of the items that I have. Then I'll try them on individually so you can see how they fit and hear my feedback for each piece. After that, I'll put a few outfits together just so you can see the pieces styled. And then finally, I will render the verdict and give you the answer to the question that I know you want to know. This is gonna be a good one. Let's get to it. So Pini Parma. Pini Parma is an Italian brand. In previous videos, I've worn a couple of these pieces and a few of you have commented that Pini Parma is a French brand. That is incorrect. They do have a shop in Paris, but the brand is Italian. It was started in September of 2017 by Tomas Pini. Prior to launching Pini Parma, Tomas worked at Boji Milano for nine years. Boji is kind of trendy in a similar vein to suit supply in some ways, and Tomas wanted to create something a little more niche and a little more sartorial. So Pini Parma initially launched as an e-com site, and after that they did a three-month pop-up in Paris that went so well that they eventually opened up a permanent location there. Pini Parma strives to be sartorial, ready-to-wear, so you're getting a lot of details in a ready-to-wear garment that you would usually only find in bespoke clothing. Things like side adjusters or wider waistbands with button closures or pleats or lapel widths and shapes. So everything is made in Italy, and the brand really kind of combines two of the more famous Italian tailored clothing styles. We're talking about the Neapolitan style, or Southern style, with a more Northern style. And with that mix, you get the pattern of the Northern style with the details of the South. So you get kind of like a more universally wearable and less flamboyant garment. Fabrics play a very big role in what Pini Parma produces, and Tomas spends a lot of time researching and sourcing some really great fabrics. In addition to their ready-to-wear, they do do made-to-measure and made-to-order as well. If you go on the website, you'll see that there are two prices listed for each piece. The first one is the price for European Union customers, and the second is for non-EU customers, which includes, obviously, the United States. Pini Parma ships worldwide in 48 hours via DHL Express, and in January of 2020, they will actually be offering free shipping on orders over 200 or 220 euros. One thing to note is that you may have to pay duties on what you order. I didn't have to, but Tomas said that happens from time to time, so that's all I can tell you about that. There's also a live chat on the website from 8 a.m. to midnight Italian time. So that's a little background on the brand. Now let me show you each of the items that I have here. First, we have a gray striped flannel suit, shirts, a light blue button-up shirt, a denim button-up shirt, and a Bordeaux-colored cotton flannel popover. Trousers, I have the taupe flannel trousers from the Saranya collection, and also the blue houndstooth flannel trousers, also from the Saranya collection, which I'll explain a little bit more about when I get into trying them on. Next, a beige turtleneck in wool and cashmere, a gray herringbone raglan coat, a pair of blue suede tassel loafers, and a light gray flannel tie. Let's try this stuff on. So starting with the pants and up first, we have the houndstooth flannel trousers. Actually, before we get started, I should let you know that I am 5'9 and weigh 152. So these have a higher rise, a single reverse pleat, metal side adjusters, and a wide extending tab fastening belt with two button closures. These pants come unfinished and as you can see, I had my tailor finish them off with a two inch cuff. I'm wearing a size 46 and these are classified as a slim fit. For me, the sizing is pretty much perfect. Through the leg, I have plenty of room to be comfortable. The leg opening on the website says it's seven inches, but I measured it and it was around six and three quarters inches. The silhouette is amazing and it's honestly hard for me to believe that this is a ready to wear pair of pants. 
Here are the tote pair of trousers. They are exactly the same style and fit as the previous pair, so nothing really to add. I did mention that these are from what Pini Parma calls the Saranya collection, and the Saranya collection basically has all of those details that you would typically find in bespoke and made-to-measure clothing, but in a ready-to-wear garment. So again, we're talking about things like the pleats, the side adjusters, and the waistband. Moving on to the shirts now, and starting with this light blue cotton shirt, it has a spread collar, and a single button rounded cuff. The material is very nice, it feels very high quality, and it's very comfortable. So honestly, I think I chose the wrong size here. I'm always a little conservative when ordering online. I don't like my clothes to fit too tight. Uh, this is a size 15 and a half neck. The sleeves are just a touch too long, and I have some room in the body. Although I could totally wear this shirt as is, I think sizing down to a size 15 neck would result in a little bit better fit. Up next is the denim shirt, same size, so same feedback as the last one. With this one though, because it has a more casual feel, I almost don't mind having a little bit of extra room. What I really want to point out and mention about this shirt is that how nice it feels for a denim shirt. The shirt is extremely soft, which makes it very comfortable, and I love this color for a denim shirt. Here we have a flannel popover in a Bordeaux color. So I wasn't sure about how I was gonna feel about this in terms of style when I got it, but I have to say, I really, really like it. Uh, as kind of an elevated and sophisticated casual shirt, you really can't beat it. This is the same size as the previous two shirts, but in popover form, I think it fits just perfectly. I have enough room to feel comfortable, but it still has a very nice tailored look to it. And the fabric, once again, is exquisite. It's very soft and very comfortable to wear. Moving on to the turtleneck now, beige color with a cable weave pattern. The fabric is a mix of cashmere and wool, 30% cashmere, 70% wool. I ordered this in a size small, and I think the fit is absolutely perfect. Fabric, again, very soft, as you'd expect, with some cashmere in it. And it's not super thin, but it's also not super thick either, which is nice because it allows you to wear it untucked, but it also gives you the ability to tuck it in your trousers if you like. Here is the suit. This is a striped gray flannel suit. The jacket is two button, flat pockets, three and three quarters inch notch lapel, double vent, half canvas, natural shoulders, the jacket is unlined. We have two inside breast pockets, one on either side, and then a pen pocket on the inside on the left. The trousers are again from the Saranya collection, so we have the single pleat, the side adjusters, and the two button waistband. The jacket is a size 48, and the fit on me is phenomenal. The shoulders are perfect. I like the line of the side of the body of the jacket. The back is very clean. You know, it's so refreshing that the jacket looks so well tailored, but it's not tight. Sleeve length is good. Length of the jacket is great. It feels like the suit was made for me. And again, I am absolutely blown away that this is a ready to wear garment. Next up is the gray herringbone raglan coat. Now a raglan sleeve is a sleeve that extends in one piece all the way down from the collar. It has a wide notch lapel bellows in the back, which is a great sartorial touch, and a waistband, diagonal front welt pockets with button closures, sleeve tabs, and buttons up the front with a hidden placket. Very cool coat, very versatile, and lots of styling possibilities, especially with the belt. Here we have a simple light gray flannel tie. It actually has a bit more of a cashmere feel to it. It's an eight centimeter tie, unlined, handmade, and stain and water resistant. Finally, a pair of dark blue suede tassel loafers, leather lining, leather sole, blake construction. They look and feel like a very well-made pair of shoes, though I am unable to give any kind of feedback on them because the size that I ordered, 42, which is my normal size, is just slightly too large for my foot. Loafers, I'll typically go a half size down, but unfortunately this time I didn't. So those are the pieces that I got, how they fit, and my feedback on each item. Next, let's put a few outfits together. Gotta to start with the suit. A gray flannel chalk stripe suit has been on my wish list for quite some time. It's timeless, it's classic. It's a suit that anyone who's serious about tailored clothing should have in their fall winter wardrobe. Now, a striped suit like this can be intimidating a little bit, but when it comes to anything with a bolder statement pattern, the rule of thumb is to keep the rest of the outfit simple. You hear me say this all the time. So I paired it with the light blue shirt along with the light gray flannel tie and a simple white pocket square. 
I feel like this has a little bit of an Italian flavor, so I went with some double monk strap shoes. And what I consider to be the perfect watch for this outfit, my Rolex Datejust. One final thing I want to share is something funny that Tomas told me as I was interviewing him for this review, and that's related to the lapel width. He said that in Italy, the size of the lapel is proportionate to the size of the ego of the wearer. So here with a three and three quarters inch lapel, I think it's the perfect width for the guy who's confident, but not so overly confident that it detracts from the clothing. Next, a simple, casually elegant combo with just the turtleneck, the taupe flannel trousers, and the raglan coat. One thing that really strikes me about the entire Pini Parma collection is that it plays in this realm of the classic menswear color palette of blues, grays, and browns, but somehow all of the versions of those colors in the collection have a little bit of a different feel while still being classic. It's unique and it appears very luxurious. Kind of reminds me of Brunello Cuccinelli in many ways, except for the price tag. As I said, lots of options here in terms of styling the coat because of the belt. You can tuck the belt into the pockets for a cleaner look or give a simple knot in the front, keeping it open just slightly for a more sartorial appearance. And pulling the browns of the outfit together with my Vacheron Constantin Traditionnel on the wrist and dark brown double monks once again. One final outfit here showcasing the popover, the blue houndstooth trousers, and repurposing the jacket from the suit. This is what I would consider sort of a grown-up casual or luxe casual kind of look. All basic elements, but with the fabrics and all of the particular details of these garments, you have something that's a little more elevated than just a typical casual outfit. The popover has really grown on me, especially this one in this color. My glasses are by Cubits. On the wrist is the Rolex Explorer 2, in my opinion, a very underrated watch, and then anchored by a pair of white leather sneakers. It's a sporty and elevated look, great for when you want to put something casual together with a little extra. So it should be pretty obvious that I think Pini Parma is an absolutely exceptional brand. The quality, the fit, and the details you get in a ready-to-wear garment at that price point is absolutely outstanding. It still kind of blows my mind that this is available as ready-to-wear clothing. And another thing I love about Pini Parma is that the selection is not overwhelming. You have a very curated selection of wardrobe essentials, and everything is very high quality. And because Pini Parma deals in classic menswear staples, you are getting a lot of versatility, which equates to a humongous bang for your buck. Now, is Pini Parma better than Suit Supply? In my opinion, 100% yes. Absolutely no question, Pini Parma is better than Suit Supply. Now, does Pini Parma have as wide a variety of options and patterns as Suit Supply? No. Is Pini Parma as ubiquitous as Suit Supply? Like, can you find them in multiple cities throughout the US? No. Is Pini Parma trendy like Suit Supply? No, but that's a good thing. And in terms of price, we're talking pretty much in the same ballpark. So if you are looking for high quality, lots of attention to detail, amazing fabrics, sartorial details that you rarely, if ever, see in ready-to-wear clothing, and if you value timeless classic menswear that never goes out of style, then I would seriously encourage you to consider Pini Parma. Well, there you have it. I don't know what else to say at this point other than leave your comments down below. Lots to talk about. I told you this was gonna be a good one. Links to everything featured in this video are down below in the description. Thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe, and as always, thanks for watching and stay tailored.